Welcome to working with InDesign and building an e-publication. For a start, why am I in Word to begin with? Well, um, here's the process we're going to go through and we're going to just use a Word document. Um, so the first thing is uh, the document setup. And we're going to place the text into InDesign. So document setup with InDesign and placing the text. Now the first thing in terms of if you're using a Word document, you want to have the least amount of formatting possible. It's easier to start off with nothing, so you can set things up precisely as you want them to be. So just like this document here, it's very simple. I'm actually just using Lauren Itson. It's just got some hard returns um, where we're going to section off um, each of the uh, headings, etc. But um, apart from that, it's just a few pages of text. Now I've limited this text down just a little bit so it's just easier to work with, but we'll use this in order to um, put it all together. So document setup, we place the text, then we're going to format the cover of the InDesign document um, being number three. The next stage is to um, format our type, you know, what sort of styles are we, do we want to use, um, and therefore we'll set up our paragraph style so it's all controlled. At the same time we can do our TOC being table of contents. This will be automatically generated provided we set this up in, in a proper way. Just like sort of you'd set up with our table contents in Word, you'd do the same thing with InDesign. Number five will be placing our images and within the placed images we can anchor them in the spot including where we want um, our movie which we're going to put in um, in this example. Our article setup, just to make sure that our uh, document is going to appear in the right order. And then following that, we're simply just going to export it into the EPUB format. The final part here is just um, a package and design document. Just want to cover that to make sure if anybody else is uh, using the document you set up, you'll need to embed uh, your images and fonts, so anything that uh, might be changed by somebody else on another machine, um, that they'll have your same fonts and images and things to work with so it doesn't get sort of corrupted for any future changes. Right, so that's our eight step process we're gonna go through. So the first thing, I can uh, just close my document. Oh, I might as well save that, we'll bring that in and even amend it if need be. Now, of course, I'm not using uh, a PDF in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, InDesign. I'll keep a couple of things open so we can see how we're changing them, just to, to give you an example of where we go back to. But essentially, we're going to start with a fresh document so you can see how you can put that, that together. So I'm just going to head into InDesign. And um, I think I'll actually just close this on title page and we'll just bring it through. And um, I'll just leave this page open um, so we can see the different stages. Basically, I've just got um, no formatting except for the cover here um, and some images. And um, basically, then I've got my completed formatted file, complete with styles and things like that. Just so we might can, we can go backwards and forwards where we need. Now, I'm going to break this um, set of movies into three movies just so each of them don't get too long. Uh, just before I start, now this is really important, I'm just going to just minimize this for a minute. Bring all your images in at the right size you want them. Let's say about 300 dpi is, is great um, um, document setting um, file size at approximately the size they're needed. Not massive great big um, files being X and Y height, but about the right size you want to use for the document being at 300 dpi, just to save space in the crunching down process. But uh, 300 is good to start with for any cover work or anything we, we might be needing. We're going to probably drop it down to lesser file size than that in the final output, but 300 dpi at the size you want for each image. Now what I've got here is my movie already prepared, and um, I've got my photo here. I've also got, um, I did this in Photoshop, notice it's a Photoshop document, Essentially, you can work with a JPEG or a ping, being a digital file. But uh, I like to work with PSD files because if you're going to also start working with actual print documents, the native format, the best format to work with that doesn't have any lowering or quality of your document is a, is a Photoshop document. That's why it needs to be uh, not too big X and Y height um, because it will just make documents working a lot uh, larger than it needs to be. But Photoshop, especially in a layered file, if you want transparency, uh, make sure that you've got a, a layered file document. 
Anyway, let's um, begin. So I'll go back to InDesign and we're going to start off with a new page here. <clears throat> First thing, of course, um, we need to set up a new page. I'm just going to go to um, File and I'm going to go over here to Document. All we worry about is New Document, Command N. Now, when we come up with a new document settings, well, we don't want print. This is not print at all this is for uh, EPUB and we also want to make sure we get the right size we don't want a 210 by 297 A4 so I'm just going to change this to digital publishing okay so it's just digital publishing it's coming in with um, number of pages one start page one and primary frame is ticked by default and I just want to make sure in this case it's going to be a portrait so I'll click on that I've got my settings here I'm just going to go to iPad you can have a custom setting, but generally it'll reformat to the sizes you want, and um, this is the output that I want for this example anyway. But you have other settings should you want to precisely set up for those, even from the same document if you output it in, in different versions. Okay, so here we go. We're in iPad format, 1024 by 768. Don't think about extra columns or worry about any of this other stuff down here. All we want to do is... Um, just start with one column because that's all we're going to use. Okay, so um, I've got my page set up, um, orientation here, I just want to make it um, as a portrait and that sounds good to me so I'm going to go okay. Here's just one page. Now with the uh, InDesign format going to iPad, it's actually sort of setting up an automatic um, flow text format which is exactly what we need for um, output, our output. We want everything to flow on from one um, panel, one page to the next, so it's just continuous flowing text, so it keeps that free flow feel, and uh, the text will just, no matter what size you want to view it at, will just flow through and stay in its right order. Before I add anything in here, I'm going to, for a start, go to File, and I'm going to come down to File Info, and I'm going to click on that. Now the reason I'm doing this is I need to name it, and this is where you actually name it. So I want to call this, um, because it's a particular name of a document, I might call this, um, for example, um, just teaching tools. Now that's going to be the name of the document. When it comes up in its um, EPUB format, that's what it's going to be called, and this is where you name it. Simple as that. So if you're trying to find out why is it coming out with um, some name or a blank name, etc., which is not what you want, this is where you do it from. I'm just going to call this um, me for the, the author there, and that's really all I need to put in there. You can have a description, but just for the example of this file, I'm just going to go OK. Of course, it hasn't named the document itself, and, and, and you're going to need to save that, so um, probably a good time to save this um, so we don't uh, lose anything. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I navigate to uh, my right folder here, so everything's going to be in the right place, and I think I had mine on my desktop, and um, just locate the correct folder, and I'll just save that in there, and I'm going to call that... Um, start just so maybe I'll spell that correctly just so I know which is the one I'm working with and I'm just saving into that folder so make sure you save everything particularly when you're using images all into the same folder a package file as what we're going to do at the end will bring things together but keep everything together it's just good design practice even though we're going to sort of do that at the end anyway okay so I'm saving that together with my images easy to navigate to save it in there. So we've got um, our document. We've got uh, nothing in here, no styles. Uh, it's just blank, but it is going to name when it e goes to an EPUB now with what we've just called it, being our training guide, sort of a teaching guide document, which you'll see at the end. Right, um, the best way to work with InDesign is you don't copy and paste images, you place images. You also place text in the, to begin with. We're going to use a Word document here, uh, and so I'm the exact one I had open before, so I'm just going to go File, and I'm going to go to Place. You can always, always uh, also use Command D or Control D on a on a PC, but just uh, Place here, and I'm going to just navigate to my text here, and I'm just going to um, 
open that and um, which is not what I wanted there for uh, my type kit I just want to place it in there and just when it comes up there as you see it's it's not it's going it registers as a little cross and I'm just going to go place and there it is. So it's just placed the text in there, no major formatting or anything like that, which is really just exactly what we want. And um, what you can also do is just Option or Alt click on that just to override any settings, and um, it just gets rid of that plus for the time being. I'm not going to worry about any of these this normal things at the moment. Um, I can actually, if I want to get rid of that, just select all, Control or Command A on a on a um, uh, on a Mac or, or control on a PC and um, just going to option click once on that again and actually it's got rid of all formatting now which is um, uh, possibly what I want to do for this example anyway and then I just might uh, because I transferred it to paragraph text I want to just go take it through and um, I'm just going to get rid of that normal setting so just take it through there again and just go OK so we've just got our paragraph text here at the moment. No setting, no formatting whatsoever. Okay, and you'll notice it's no longer one page. It was flying text by standard setup when we went to our InDesign um, output to iPad or our EPUB digital sort of format, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, for the um, next thing I want to do is I want to add in my cover. Okay, so the easiest way to do that, I'm just going to... Um, click on my pages here. It's currently on page one here but anyway I just want to um, go and add a cover. So create new page and there's my cover document here. And as you'll see it's uh, it's actually gone down here to page two. It's not what we want so we just need to go and move that just to page one. And um, what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to close this for the time being. It's page one now and if we go up here we can see that the document is all free, nothing there, and it's on page one. Now what I'm going to do is make sure I save this again, just good practice. The next thing is I'm going to um, create a cover. Now for the example I want to work with, you can create any cover you want, but just a little bit of a secret here. For start, it's actually good to make sure that your cover covers the full page. So I'm going to uh, just drag over a cover space here, just fit that page. And I'm going to um, basically uh, give it um, a color. Okay. Um, down here, by the way, as you can see, that whatever there's no um, color in here, uh, and it's the fill area. You can actually jump between fill and stroke, but I just want my fill. I'm just going to apply color, and black's going to be a good color for me. You can, of course, go into your swatches and change to any other color you want to work with as well. However, I'm not going to worry about training through InDesign, I'm just looking at um, really just setting up the document for EPUB. This is where you can go and get some um, text uh, type and I'm just going to start uh, dragging out some uh, shapes here and I'm going to start um, just typing in what I want etc and just like normal up here you can go and choose any font that you might want and start forming um, your, your graphic. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to click out of that for the time being. Um, you obviously want to have white text if it's going to be on a black ba black background, but you're going to choose any background color and type you want as per your design. Um, the other thing you might want to do is I'm just going to before I bring this into the document and and um, put it together. Um, I want to put an image in there as well. So I might just go here again. I'm going to go file place. That's the good way to work, and I'm just going to use this image. Okay, it's a layered image, and if I just go and click that, or oh, actually it's gone into the text frame. Now that's a good point. Just make sure you don't want to select any text frames. Just going to go undo that, and then I can uh, place it where I want. So I'll just click it there, and because it's uh, a transparent file, in terms of um, it's on its own layer from um, created in uh, Photoshop and um, then there's no background color, which is a good way to work, then you can bring it in there, and particularly, particularly if it's on another color, and you can start stylizing that and have different shapes, depending on whatever, rather than a square box. JPEGs will be flat, so you just have to watch out for that. 
Uh, what I'm going to do for this example, I can go through and format that, but that's going to take a little bit of time and you're going to need to spend some time on that. What I'm going to do is um, just uh, delete that out for the time being. And I'm just going to go back to my uh, document here and from my former cover that I've already designed up and uh, as I want in the type face. And I'm just going to select all those graphics and just Command C or Control C on a PC. Just come back to my start document here and I just want to um, edit and I want to paste it in place so it fits nicely and there you go. So there's my sort of cover, um, obviously I did the cheap way of putting it together, I already prepared it but nonetheless uh, you just take your time putting it together as you want. Now this is where you need to set up your cover. Um, this is actually, we're on to step three now to be honest with you, we've done our set up a document, we've placed our text and now we're just sort of um, formatting um, our cover correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, select everything on the cover, just drag a marquee around there, everything's selected and I need to go through this step. You, you don't have to use any type or any existing cover or you can start off purely with a type without this page at all and you can actually import your own cover. We can do that during the export process to, to EPUB, but I'm working with InDesign and might as well take advantage of its features, especially if you want to change the cover out for a type or other things later on without having to redo images in an image creation program like Photoshop. It's much easier in this program anyway. So I'm just going to go to um, my um, object here, and I want to go Command-G, Control-G on a PC, but I want to group it. So it's now grouped. It is one object, and that's very, very important to do. There's one additional thing we're going to do now, is again, under the object, uh, what we need to do is come all the way down to Object um, Export Options, and we get this little box coming up here. You'll probably be sitting on here by default, but just go over to EPUB and HTML. It makes sense, really. It's what we're working with. And um, this is an image, and we want to actually rasterize it in the process of creation of the cover when we export. So rasterization, we can click that, and this is where we can change it to any output we want. Now, as I mentioned, bring your images in at 300, and I'm leaving this at 300. Um, it doesn't matter what we have here, because we, we, when we export, we control the actual final pixel size for all images. But it's better to have a little bit more in case you want to do a high quality output than not enough and it goes pixelated. And just leave all these other things as they are. Okay, so I'll just go done. So just to quickly recap, just for this first movie, we've brought our cover in, we've um, grouped it, and we set it for export um, object options. Um, already and you notice I've gone to the edge of the document here that's going to make sure we don't get any text that pops back into the edges or underneath cover the whole area with your cover graphic even if it's white I'd suggest it's a good way to actually put a white background there first and then um, or you could do it with a frame but a white background is great keeps it all clean and um, you're not going to have any problems with the export okay so the next movie we're going to go into uh, being movie number two of EPUB um, putting it together, we're, we're going to look at actually going through and formatting um, our text and we're going to do a table of contents. So that's movie number two.